All right, so I just uh, want to do a quick video. This was actually uh, requested um, on what all these screws do right here, right here. Essentially, there's there's five total. A lot of people forget about this one. This one actually controls, syncs all the carbs together. But these, are, this is on the ADI ignition, uh, the distributorless uh, inline sixes. Uh, these screws basically each of them play their part and they all need to be set properly for this uh, beast to run correctly all right so what we're gonna do is uh, start at the bottom here this is the uh, idle stop screw this is where you set your uh, your preliminary idle uh, this one right here uh, I believe I have it set around uh, around two degrees before top dead center um, the the specs I don't know if you can see that there says five to seven degrees uh, ATDC um, Personally, I have never had success with that with an ADI ignition model. People can say what you want, but you you, you know you get some some back pressure on that prop, some water up in that exhaust. Uh, these these engines just don't idle. <laughs> they just don't have the jets for it. The butterflies uh, they're just not jetted like they were with the uh, distributor models. But I don't know. Someone can prove me wrong. All right, on to the next one. This is your uh, throttle stop, and this one is set basically when this goes and hits that stop. The butterfly should be completely, I don't know if you can see it. All right, that's probably the best shot I'm gonna get. That is completely open. And you wanna make sure all the carbs are the exact same position. So that's, when that stop hits that right there, all of them are open and there's no twisting causing uh, twisting happening up here. You don't want any pressure, pressure on the butterflies. You don't wanna bend any of your butterflies. Okay, so now we're moving on to the max spark stop. This one's actually pretty easy. Um, basically, you just uh, move that till it hits the stop there. Now, you want this set around uh, 19 to 20 degrees. I would air more towards 19 degrees uh, for the uh, the max spark. And essentially, the, the timing, uh, as you throttle forward, it'll stop there. And then your butterflies continue to open there. But you want that spark to stop around 19 to 20 degrees. And then the final screw, this is for your primary. This actually moves, moves basically the whole arm. This controls, uh, controls where it actually touches the, uh, the carb cluster. Now when this thing is set at idle, okay, these lines should line up. That'll actually give you a little bit of play when you actually get down there and do the final link and sink on the water. Now if you watch, when I, when I start to throttle, there's a slight gap. There's a slight gap between the throttle cam and the roller. And just, you, you want, it's like a millimeter or something like that. Uh, essentially that allots uh, time for the timing to advance a couple degrees before this, the carbs start to crack open. That is critical to getting this engine to basically take off out of the water when you're, when you're trying to throttle. And then lastly, once you get your idle set, your stop set, your max spark set, and your primary set, you can actually go back and loosen this screw basically get that roller cam to just barely rest against it and then pretty much from there all you got to do is get on the water uh, play with the uh, play with the adjustments here I did do a video on that so if you need help on that it's actually not as hard as they uh, they make it you just got to be able to listen and uh, listen and watch but uh, yep so that's pretty much all I got for you if you have any questions uh, just put it in the comments thanks for watching